Championships Amateur Light Welterweight title and will be competed over five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has a record of five wins, one defeat. He represents Team Rhino. Ladies and gentlemen, Senan Coakley! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This amateur mixed martial artist has an undefeated perfect record, six wins, no defeats. He represents LMA and Asylum Valley Judo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Charlie Lynch Spence. Our referee is Mr. Nico Joko. Big fight, this one. Amateur light welterweight title, Charlie Lynn Spence from LMA and ABT versus Senam Coakley from Team Rhino. I've been looking forward to this fight all night. Yeah, this is going to be a great fight. Two high level strikers here. Sinan, uh, 1 0 on UKFC, his second fight. This is Charlie Lynn Spence's first fight. Both starting with body kicks. Touching the distance. Both, both looking to chip away that lead leg. Oh, Charlie Lynch Spence looking to wrestle. Gets the takedown. Sinan goes to guard. Just looking to get head position. Potential fight of the night, this one. Oh, without question. Charlie Lynch Spence doesn't know how to be in boring fights. Charlie. Oh. That's it. Southpaw, he's looked for a few side kicks from that Southpaw stance. Sinan coming back with some snap kicks through the middle. Back to that side kick. Both, both changing up their stances. Boy, very kick heavy. Charlie's been in some wars, some absolute wars as an amateur that this kid doesn't, this kid doesn't know how to lose. Yeah, the famous fight with Callum Connor. Oh, unbelievable. Right now, fairly even contest. Yeah, obviously. On, on the feet, they're both mixing it up well, switching between. It's one takedown at the moment to Charlie, and Sinan's trying to get that one back, but he's managed to defend. He's getting on the wall, still in the grappling, and just reverse there. Team Rhino, of course, one of the long-standing teams in Irish MMA. Andy Ryan, been there forever. Yeah, big, big team, and again, and the, the regulars again on UKSA. Oh, The thing about Charlie is that once once he, he feels there's a finish there, he'll look to take it. But Coakley bringing, yeah, he's looking bringing for, that guard up high. The triangle there, but Charlie's looking to beat, beat that knee. 10 seconds. Been a really, yeah. really entertaining first round. Good, good, good first round. I think Charlie just took that with the two takedowns, but... Similar style stood up. Yeah. What do you think of the side kick? I mean, I've seen a few of uh, Charlie's spinning kicks and stuff. It's actually in his style, you know, to throw a few, a few crazy kicks like that. Yeah, so I'm nice. sure more of that will come out in the later rounds. Especially when he was southpaw, he was like using that right leg almost like a jab. Yeah. yeah. Seen it as well. He, he uh, mixed up some some big body kicks and head kicks as well, and some nice nice snap kicks through the middle. They both look so comfortable in there as well for the first round. Yeah, you know, these, these are guys who are going to go on to have great oh, professional yeah, there, careers. There's no doubt we'll be, be talking about the, in the game. We'll be talking about these two kids in, you know, five or six years' time being in, you know, one of the, the big three, as it were. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a, a potential future UFC fight. Oh, without question. Round two, here we go. Both guys are bouncing. Oh, I would imagine if this was 10 three-minute rounds, they'd, they'd be bouncing through yeah. it. I'd like to see that as well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I know, he's looking at that side, side kick, wheel kick. Very Ooh. comfortable with that lead leg. It's like, almost like his jab, isn't it, when yeah, he goes southpaw? Kit's giving Charlie something to think yeah, about at the man. moment. See now again, you, he's using his right leg, but for, from his from the back of his stance. Oh, lovely fake from. Oh. Can see if that kick landed. Did Nico in the way? <laughs> it is tit for tat at the moment. Neither fighter seems to be able to put their stamp on it. Yeah, I wonder if. Uh, Charlie's going to engage in the grapple again and look for a takedown. And obviously they're in the clinch right now. Yeah, Coakley looking to try that hip toss. Yeah. Even if he just uses it there to get the inside space back, so he can look look to disengage from the grapple if that's his plan. Well, certainly Charlie Big Spence has decided that is the plan, and he's not going to let him disengage. Oh no, yeah. He's, uh, he's looking for that takedown again. He's got the inside frames. So he's doing well on. Nice oh, foot trip. Timing. Just got that leg in the middle again. Looking to show knees. Just something like if you can, if you can't get a takedown, but you can chip away with those knees. It's just that extra thing to oh. score. But just like no, I'm saying, that's him. a big reversal. He's looking to turn him under. Yeah, he could oh. turn him under. Oh, yeah, I thought, he was, thought he was looking for the darts yeah. there. Seen under the well, as soon as he, he bounced straight back up, as soon as he was turned over, got, got his bottom leg out. Whoa, big shot. Coakley looks like he's actually enjoying it. There was a smile on his face there for a moment. Yeah, 100% he's definitely enjoying it. I don't think these guys could be in a boring fight. No. Goes high again. Uh, these, these are those fights where you, it takes one decision wrong yeah yeah and you've lost a round or you do one one really good thing and it wins you the round he's looking to suck him out here i mean this is exactly what we expected though we expected this to be a competitive tight fight yeah he's just got, got good head position at the moment that's why but then soon reverses it looks to take down the south and He's definitely engaging in the wrestling scramble and he's Shot finishing there. the wrong strong, the wrong yeah. strong, absolutely. Lots of control in the round. Bit. So, yeah, good, great round. Tough round to score. What are we saying, guys? What are we saying? Whew. I think Spence, perhaps, Charlie and Spence, perhaps by like a Nats. Yeah. We, we, like tight rounds, but I think first round i have no problem with yeah. that was a tighter round but what? i think lynch has done enough yeah what do you think oh it's a tough one brilliant matchup then too it's, yeah. like, it's a nice fight to watch i think it's one of them that you if you're in the corner you can't tell your fighter you've got the round yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not going yeah you're too up you're not, no yeah, no you, you can't do that uh, but again it just goes to show the level of matchmaking here Thank well you. done, you. Thank you. Honest to goodness, this evening and this afternoon has been one of the best regional cards I, uh, I've been at for years. Yeah, and we got this and two more. Great oh, fights cracking today. fights coming up. Right now, though, you've got a vacant light well to wait title to be decided. And it's either going to be Charlie Lynn Spence or the Team Rhino man, Shannon Coakley. Oh, lovely. The way Sennon uses his legs just to keep him out and score is... Oh. Big oh, he's, he's forcing the wrestling a bit more now as well, though. 
We can get his leg out, set around the back, or he's going to step through the middle. Well, then Spence landed a lovely straight yeah, shot got, there. He's got a strong, Kirkley, strong wizard, isn't he, as well, at the moment. Coakley decided, yeah, I'm going to initiate the Oh, he's the looking to the back, though. Well, you know, oh, he's going for the arm. Team Rhino. They, yeah, they, they, you know, they're, they're going to be well rounded. They're going to be well rounded, and Jits is going to be one of the things they're good at. So now, Charlie's just got to take his time and not rush anything, right? Is he? Yeah, obviously, I uh, can't see how can't much of a grip yeah. he has, but he doesn't want to end up in a negative position from this. Because he's with uh, Sinan, because he's winning the round, but then Coakley also doesn't want to rush out of it and end up getting in an armbar. So well, it, it looks like he's it looks like he's hunting something, but yeah. I just can't see what. Nico, the referee's having a close look as well, but it looks at the moment like he's got his elbow close to his body, so it's not like it's yeah. an extended arm or. He's, I think he's got uh, Sinan's got that that hook with his with his leg as well, but maybe trying to the triangle. Go, go, looking for the arm. Again, if he can even just keep threatening the sub and, and stay on the attack, it's going to give him the round. Whereas, oh, oh. just straight. Belly down. Looking to get his hips in. Charlie jumps over. I don't know if he's got his elbow out. He can't see, but... No, I can't see. It's a lot of movement. looks like he's out here. Oh, he's out. Oh. I, it's hard to see how close that was, but... I don't think you're tapping easy. No, I, I don't think he'd tap easy. Probably going to be something you got to take home with you. Now we'll see if Kogli looks to throw. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh. Good and, round this And now Kogli. it starts to heat up. Oh. But Spence, Spence responding. How dare you take a round from me? Oh, oh he's good back. Oh. That left body hook. Time. Oh, easy challenge. It was hard to hear them, but. Didn't you, he? Wow. You know, wow. Sinan Coakley's win, winning the round, and then. Wow. Five, Until he wasn't. Five, ten seconds to go, and just Charlie Lynch Spence comes in with that body hook. And, and the problem is, once that body shot landed, I mean, the tell was there. I mean, his arm dropped, his whole composure changed. Yeah. And now I would suggest there's a big old target you know, on the look, body. Those those body shots, Dakota, do you think he can recover from him? I mean, Craig, Craig Coakley there, his brother, Senan's brother, is in his corner. He's not let him sit down. He's made him stand up straight, so... Yeah, he's, he's trying to wild, wild his fighter up to recover. But the, uh, one of those things, shot to the liver. Oh, it, I mean, as soon as... as, soon as they just switch you off. Yeah, you saw his right arm drop down. You saw, and and then Charlie Lynch. Yeah, is he going to come out and look for that target again, do you think? Oh. It only takes one more, doesn't it? I can't see why not. It, 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 he got such a reaction from it. I mean, sort of sort of falling over. Is this the, this is the fourth round? Yeah. Give me those ten we asked for. Yeah, it's taken a little bit of the pace just, away from Coakley yeah, at just the moment. Changed change the whole momentum of the fight, didn't it? Yeah, it looked like Sinan was sort of coming back into yeah, it. Yeah, coming back, winning and the round, and that body shot just, just changed the momentum. He might, he might use this first minute to still prolong his recovery a little bit. Yeah, well, well why not? Start pushing the pace again, but... I mean... Oh, there oh, he's yeah, he digs again. again. Yeah, right hand over the top, left hand the body. Is it one of those things you look for again, or you really got to try and set up the call? I mean, Lennon probably thought Charlie was going to come out and go straight for the body, so it's not a bad thing to fake it for a while and then slide it in there. Right now, they're mixing up the shot selection well. Go yeah. from the calf to the head to the body to the thigh. Yeah, he's going head body, trying to make the as him on the cage, spinning kick. You see that? Gina looking, oh. he's dropping that right arm, isn't he? Yeah, 
This could be the beginning of the end. He shoots him, but he stopped this takedown. He's going to come to top position. Wait, now I ask, isn't this where you would stand? Yeah, yeah there it is. Them. That's just probably we, the smart he, decision. Yeah, he knows what he wants to do. Sinan looked like he was happy to go to his back then. He's keeping that right elbow down, isn't he? Yeah, that body's hurt. Mouthpiece out. Mouthpiece out. He's going. His brother's in the corner. Oh, check the turn. Mouthpiece has come out. Now going straight to the body again. Oh. oh. Drop down for the single leg now. Yeah, grip. smart decision. Anytime he can just, just engage in the grappling, it's going to give him a bit of time to try and recover again. But how long does it take to recover from those body shots? So if your body's done, isn't it just the next one? You're just waiting for that one yeah. that's going to shut you down. He's looking for the switch here, though. And he gets in. Sinan's on his back. Well, he's looking for, oh, I thought he was looking for the arm there. Another good round for Charles. Absolutely. And you've got to think again that Coakley needs a finish. Oh, it looks for a tripod sweep. Even, even if he did take one of those rounds, he's yeah. still going to be three down. That body shot again. Yeah. Oh, he went up through the middle there. Eh? Both corners looking to get in already. Time. What a round. Yeah, unfortunately, what a round for Charlie Lynch Spence. It really is all for the Team Rhino man to do now. What I advice you giving to your fighter? It's difficult. I mean, Senan is getting the... Uh, he's getting the better of him stood up, but then he's hurt. <laughs> Yeah, it's it just wow. every time he just managed to find that body shot, it seems to just change the momentum of the way it's going. Like that one round, obviously, Senan was looking like he was coming into it, and that body ch shot right at the end of the round just changed, changed. Did everything. And it's again just if he, he if he can recover, if think they can rile him up enough. Jay Furness giving giving his fighter some advice there before he goes back out. Fifth round. Let's go. Oh, guys, got his gum shield, run back, put it back in. And the thing for Charlie Lynch Spence, I'm going to focus on him for a moment, when he does actually become a pro, he's going to have had so many amateur fights that might have well have been pro. Yeah. Like this one, for example. That's, that's again, what it's about. Is that both these fighters are going to learn so much from this and just getting the, these fights where they can develop, get the round to time up to problem solve in the round. Oh, tried to go high. Gonna get all this footage that they can look back on that's after it. and look to improve. Like, that's the thing, how important it is. I mean, uh, Charlie Lynch Spence is it's just one of those special young athletes. Good control, side side control here. Yeah, he's just lacing the legs with his arms and just looking to pressure him. He, he might try and force a back take. Or he might just, I would say, just happy to see the round out, but I don't think that's in him. No, I don't think so either. I think, if, again, if there's a chance for a finish, oh. he's going to take it, but Hunter, go looking the for the leg. leg. Yeah. Go on, Charlie, fuck! Take him yeah. out! That's a thing as well, you, you can attack the leg, but obviously you're missing that big tool of the heel. Yeah, absolutely. So it's got to be like straight foot lock or, or knee bar. And he's looking to wrist ride there. I mean, this is a smart way to finish a fight. Why take a risk? Why, you know, why take the risk at one shot? You eat one shot and yet he ain't going to get finished from this position. He's in control. Never in my life going to accuse, never going to accuse Charlie Lynch Spence of lay and pray. He always stays busy. No, obviously Sinan as well. You know, a lot of people would have oh. quit by now, but he's attacking the arm. He's, st he's still looking, 
looking to win and turn this fight. He might even transition to... Looking to get his leg over the head. This is a similar position, obviously, that he was close with before. Again, I can't see the elbow position, but he might look to come out onto the back here. Oh, uh, Charlie's going to look to like dig his right elbow back in and then put, put him back flat. But again, I, if I'm if you're Charlie Lynch, Spence, you're in you're in no rush. All you want to do is defend from yeah. here. Like, don't, no mistakes because there's no. He's looking for that arm again, though. His corner screaming at him. His yeah. brother. Can't be a whole lot of time left in the round. Adam Darby, Jamie Abbott Bissett. Yeah. In the corner, screaming at his fighter. He's got 10, ten seconds. 10 seconds. No one near straightening that arm out. Great fight. Absolutely top draw. No quit at all in the Team Rhino Man, but you'd have to think for a moment our new champion could be Charlie Lynch yeah. Spence. Well, great, great fight by both guys. Great fight. we go to the judges scorecard and we have a unanimous decision for your winner and new amateur light welterweight champion in the red corner Charlie Lynch Spence and ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause please for the opponent Sanan to get this undefeated record. Just how tough was Sinan Coakley tonight? Yeah, very tough one. Uh, I came through some contra controversy there. Uh, I come through. It seems to me that it didn't matter where the fight took place, you were just ahead of the game. Is that what it felt like in there? Yeah, I didn't feel threatened too much at uh, any time. We got a nice handball locked off, but I stepped over. Uh, yeah, it was good. As I said, you have fought some of the toughest competition out there. What's next for you? And I'll continue to do that, to give the good fights to all these fans that come out and support the proper fights, not, not just messing around. Yeah. I know you're still a young man. My last question, how long before you're thinking pro? Because, good Lord, you're going to collect a bunch of these titles. Yeah, man, so the plan 
it's one year from now. I just turned 20 over there, so 21. I used to like it 20. Congratulations, you, every time we watch you, you get better and better. You, one day we're gonna see you in the big league. Thank you, Charlie.